Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to show you how you can create a bulleted list using bespoke icons. So let's just take a look at this uh, website that we've, uh, we're using as a test bed for our Divi tutorials. So the first one that we're going to talk about is this section here. So it's a lists the services so these are just standard bulleted lists um, but what we've done is we have replaced the icon with um, one of the elegant themes icons and then we've styled it accordingly <clears throat> so the way that we've done this is because we are using um, multiple rows we need to give it the background actually in the section um, so this is slightly different than we do normally but um, we'll walk you through the process to create this effect so the first thing that we do is we want to go to our page so as you can see we've got our page here um, we want to scroll down to the section that we're interested in which is this part here so we've got a section we've got two rows so we've got a single uh, width row which contains the centered heading and a little bit of text and then we've got um, our text modules which are just contain bulleted lists so if we look in here um, we've got eight items in each column We've got three columns in the row, and then um, what we've done is we give these um, some bespoke styling. So let's go back and look at the uh, background first of all. So the background we've got here is a parallax effect. So um, we do this on the section rather than the rows. So we've got the first row here. That's the first row, which is a single width um, row and then we've got the item below which is um, three as a three column row as it shows here so uh, the first one that we do is um, we need to give it a background so we do this on the section rather than the row itself so if we go into our uh, settings standard settings so all we do is we come into the background we set the background um, to our image that we want to use and then we want to tell it to use the parallax effect and there's two options you can either use true parallax or you can use a CLA, CSS but we use the true parallax effect <clears throat> that's all there is to the background so that will give you the background that when you move obviously the foreground um, items move over it at a different speed from the background itself to give you that effect so the next thing that we want to do is we want to come in and we want to style we're going to give our each of our text modules a CSS class so to do that we go into the settings and we want to go to our advanced tab and then we want to go to our CSS ID and classes and in this instance I've called it tick bullets um, so that's what we want to do there we want to do the same on all three of our blurb modules or our sorry our text modules and if you've noticed I've used the same amount of uh, lines so I've got eight items in the list <clears throat> so that's that's that bit done um, the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to we want to give them um, a new bullet so what we're using is we are using the elegant elegant themes icons um, which you can pick as an icon option um, if your blurb supports it but we want to actually use it for the bulleted um, the bulleted uh, style so we go to the elegant themes uh, website and it gives you a list of all of the hex codes or all of the codes for all of the uh, icons it's the unicode reference and this is the url here so it's blog resources elegant icon font so what you want to do next is you want to scroll down until you want until you find the icon that you want to use. So we are using a filled circle with a white tick, and you can see here this is the code that we want to use. Um, however, um, we are only going to be using the last four um, characters, so E052. And the way that we reference that is we want to go to some uh, custom CSS. And we're going to style it so as you can see here 
um, we're going to change the bulleted services list icons and this is the uh, this is the code that we want to use here <clears throat> so what we want to do at the moment we want to say the list style type is none and that's important so that is for um, the first part the second part is actually we want to style the icon itself so the content um, for it is slash backslash e052 as you can see here and we want to tell it that the color so that is the um, the color of the object you can see what the color is here if we copy it we just go to Google quite useful this in Google it gives you the colors so you can see here that it's the yellow so that is the coloring that we're going to use so that's the content that's the color the font family is the um, elegant themes modules which is specified as ET modules and we, whether you want to give it margin so in our instance we're going to give it a right margin and we're going to give it a negative left margin um, so that lays it all out nice and neatly and it brings the icons closer to the wording the next thing we want to do is tell it what the font size is and the position and whether we're going to give it um, a margin top so um, as you can see here this is the complete code to be able to style it you can play around with this as much as you want obviously choose your own icon um, that you want to use in your list so that's it that's just completed now so what we're going to do is just recap quickly so that what you need to do is if you've got different row types in which case we have we've got a single row and then we've got um, a, uh, a three column row here um, you need to specify it in the section so we set the background in the section rather than the row then we give our text module um, a CSS ID or a CSS class which is tick bullets and then we want to go in and we want to style the um, the list objects here so the bulleted list icons we're styling here so that's it if you found the video useful don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and also if you can subscribe to our channel I just like to say thanks for watching and hope you found it useful